Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 16th. But y'all know the timing is fluid. I just want we we might do a live tonight. I'm still thinking about it. If not tonight, probably tomorrow night. Um, that'll be on Empress TV. I have a few things to talk about. I might even show. You, well, if we do a live, you'll get to see. A Part of my room, because I'm in my room. Anyway, I still got some stain under my fingers. So somebody may say, oh, you got to clean your fingers. Well, you know, when you're staining doors, you know. <laughs> now I'm going to go stick my hand in gas to get it off, even though I thought about it. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and get started. What do we have? I still have another two doors to do. So, um, whatever. And that's why I don't have my fingernails on doesn't make sense. Anyhow, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Three of coins. Now this is communication, teamwork, working together. Could have three people that are making a decision. They're doing, they're teaching each other, or they're working together, they're talking about something, collaborating. Transition, death reversed, so uh, something isn't over yet, it's not done yet, something may have nearly ended, but now there could be some compromising going on, you know, there, there could be a compromise, um, it's not completely over, it's, you know, talks of revival perhaps, or something like that, working together to make something work so it won't end. I'm not sure what that is, but it feels like that's what it is. Uh, death reversed. Um, there could be somebody that is held back by fear, not wanting change, not allowing change. Uh, hmm. Ace of Cups reversed. Now the Ace of Cups reverse is an emotional blockage. So we have somebody here that is uh, emotionally blocked, so they're unable to move forward. But they may be communicating. There could be some, you know, there's there's talks of something, talking about, uh, there definitely is a blockage here with the Two of Swords. Uh, definitely, emotional blockage. Somebody is, is emotionally guarded having a lot of anxiety. There could be an overwhelming fear. Hmm. Fearful of a new beginning, fearful of starting a new life, fearful of falling in love, fearful of getting their heart broken, fearful of opening up their heart. Anyway, the Two of Swords is blocking ex extreme fear, really. Two of Swords. Um, so there's a level of indecision here. Now, um, th sitting on the fence, thinking about it, it's a it's a stressful decision. It is. It is. We give it. We should I work with this person? Should I go this route? Should I? Should I? That's the question here. It's like, hmm. You notice the arms are crossed. So that's like, I'm not so sure. I don't. I don't trust. There's a lack of trust here. So somebody is, is, they may be talking with somebody or working with some people, but there's definitely a lack of trust, a, a level of, I don't believe this, or uh, hmm, guarded, very, very guarded, protecting, trying to protect themselves. Somebody's trying to protect themselves. Page of Cups, but, but there is some sort of, admiration or some feelings or desire for love because that's just that's ace of cups and that page is hands so it's like i want to but i don't dare to so hmm now this is good news communication i think there is some communication but there's a level of being guarded there's some sort of feelings here, or there's a crush, or there's an admiration with this Page of Cups. Somebody may be love-struck, but they're fearful. <laughs> you know, that's what it looks like. I don't dare to. I don't dare to. The moon, definitely fear. This is fear, is being careful. 
being very careful. What what does this person have up their sleeve? There's definitely a level of, of mistrust or distrust or I don't trust. I don't trust. There's there's a there's deception or fear of deception with the moon card. Somebody is well may be proceeding with caution. Fearful of getting hurt by the looks of things. I feel like we have somebody here that is hiding their true feelings. They do have feelings, but they're unable to express them. They're guarding their true feelings. Pretending, pretending that... They don't care or pretending that they're not interested. I think we have somebody here that is pretending that they're not interested. All is not as it seems. Somebody is hiding their true feelings. Seven of Wands. So Seven of Wands is challenge, it, challenging. You know, it's a challenging energy. There's opposition. There could be some stiff competition. This person, whoever is uh, hiding their feelings, may have a lot going on. May have a lot of people that are asking for their attention or demanding their attention. Very hectic, guarded, protective. Somebody's trying to protect themselves. And I think it's because they have so much. So many people pointing the finger at them or so many people trying to get their attention. Hmm. Five of coins reversed. So make sure this is zoomed. Five of coins reversed. That is... I don't know if somebody was ghosted or they were left behind. But this could be now wanting to fight for it, wanting to, uh, well, that is, that is protecting, fight for it, warding off the competition, pushing people away. Somebody has been pushed away. But now there's some sort of light at the end of the tunnel. There's some sort of improvement. There's some sort of talks going on. Some sort of collaboration or compromise. It's like a uh, slowly opening up, perhaps. Maybe something is coming back around. But there's definitely fear. There's fear. And we have somebody here that is feeling like they don't trust because they were... Uh, ghosted or left behind in the past or treated unfairly or led in the wrong direction before by somebody and that's why they don't trust they were deceived in the past and now it's like they're just really guarded they they don't trust they, hmm. the sun but this is a new beginning it's a new day this is a blessing. This is a yes. Yes. This is a breakthrough. A turning point. I think we have a turning point here. With somebody that is starting to think more positive. Sun and moon. Ooh. Receiving some sort of clarity. Somebody is receiving some sort of clarity. Whereas they were confused. They were confused or they were too protective or they were too uh, scared. They were too scared to open up. But now it's like, this is an opportunity for happiness. This is a life-giving energy. It's a, it is a positive change. It, it is. So I think we have a positive positive movement per se whereas somebody was fearful now they're thinking differently they were fearful of opening their heart and this one fell out the tower oh the tower reversed now the tower reverses an extreme 
it's extremes. You never saw it coming. Something is going to happen suddenly that you never saw coming. Whatever this is, it's positive. It is positive. It's a very positive life change. Perhaps something fell apart really fast. It crumbled really fast in the past. It did. And that didn't work out for a reason. Obviously, it didn't work out for a reason. But now, somebody is seeing something differently. They may want to build a new foundation where they were too scared to because it was such a disaster in the past. Something may have ended in the in disaster. You know, there may have been some sort of internal disruption or a major disruption in someone's life that really caused them to not trust. And so they were protecting themselves and guarding themselves from opening up. But now there's some sort of positive change. Whereas, you know, they may have pushed somebody away because huh, they were fearful of getting themselves in something that was false because they were in a false sense of security or a false commitment in the past but now and that's why they were pushing people away but now they're ready to fight or they're ready to uh, prove themselves or something like that mm, this is a turning point it is a turning point that you never ever saw coming because that is that is uh the tower reversed it's like somebody may be wanting to avoid a total loss so they're 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 ready for a change this is a breakthrough it really is a breakthrough it's a very positive change okay this is being accepted somebody may have been enlightened seeing things differently letting go of their fear Ugh. Queen of Coins could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn but this is somebody that is very valuable has a lot to offer, very loyal, very genuine, very real, dedicated and devoted, very kind and generous. The Queen of Coins, she has something of value in her hand. She is very valuable, very comfortable, very nurturing, very caring. So this is like a crush. I think we have somebody here that has feelings. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could we be dealing with a Scorpio? Could be a Scorpio a couple times. You have Pisces, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But we have, I think we have somebody that was rejected or they were turned down with this Ace of Cups reversed because there was an emotional blockage. There was. It was a protection tactic. Somebody was trying to protect themselves. But now there's a message coming in. It's a welcome message. And I think that it's coming to this Queen of Coins who has a lot to offer. She's she does. I mean, that is the Ace of Pentacles in her hand. That's a golden opportunity. It's an opportunity for something long term, something solid, something real. So, this is a new beginning. Somebody could, it's a very fertile time as well. Somebody could be getting pregnant, or this is the birth of something new. Okay? This is definitely a breakthrough that could lead to something solid. She's just holding on to her value. She knows her value. This is a welcome message that is coming from somebody that was scared. This person was scared. They didn't trust. So I think we have a positive change coming. A message is coming. This could be an invite. Or an offer. Definitely uh, compromise, communicating, working together. Nine of Wands. Letting their guard down. Somebody's about to let their guard down. Nine of Wands reversed. They are. They're about to open up. But you need to be gentle. This person is very distrustful. They've been hurt so bad in the past. Three of Cups or maybe a reunion or a reconciliation or a celebration or get together. I feel like there's going to be an invite. Somebody might be invited to, you know, go out and have drinks. And I know that there's a shutdown. I don't want to hear it. You do you and everybody else can do them. But it could be get, you know, three people is allowed, right? <laughs> I'm not saying that it's going to be three people or anything, but I'm just saying. Um, could be a, could be a get together. 
It could be a reconciliation. It could be between friends. It could be socializing. It could be a celebration or a reunion. I, there definitely could be a reunion here between a couple of people or friends or something like that or a get together or a party. You know, in a little party. The hermit, this is coming out of hiding. We have somebody here that was definitely in hermit mode, but now they're ready to socialize. They're ready to come out and reconnect. So I think that we have a reconnection here. There's somebody is going to be receiving a message from somebody that ghosted them or left them behind or something like that. That, you know, yes, I do want to... Uh, connect with you or get together with you or something like that. Good luck. I hope this reading is for you.